So, what's what not? In this video, I'm gonna cover what what not is, what it's like to be a buyer, what it's like to be a seller. I do have a referral link that'll get you $10 off your first winning bid, and a couple of pros and cons as well, now that I've kind of hung out with the what not app for, you know, two or three weeks or so. All of these opinions are my own, my own personally, and like I said, not sponsored or endorsed. The people at Whatnot aren't even seeing this video and they don't even know this video existed until it's live, until they're watching it for the first time just like you are. In full disclosure, I have been speaking to some of the people at Whatnot for the last little bit. Ran into Alan at Sat Gamers Expo. We chatted for a little while and then even after the convention, we've communicated back and forth a little bit. But he doesn't know this video is happening until this video is now live. And even though this video isn't sponsored or endorsed, future videos might be, but this one is all just straight up because I had a lot of people ask. I've had a lot of people message me. You know, I might say something online Line, they'll be like, well, what's that? I've never heard of that. Well, for the last couple of weeks, I've experimented both buying and selling using Whatnot. And Whatnot, at the end of the day, it is an auction app. Think of it like the interaction of an Instagram Live or maybe even a Twitch, but then there is a bid button. Yeah, I can put up some of my games that I don't need anymore. Just like, you know, I just, I don't need them. You know, maybe I sell them at conventions or something like that. I could just sell them online. If you can't come to the convention, let the convention come to you. That's what I'm thinking. So far, I've ran two auctions, both of them pretty small in size, because sometimes these auctions can go on for like two or three hours, four hours. I'm just gonna keep it humble about an hour or so. No, it's funny, because now I'm even going over my own collection. I put something like Ogre Battle, up on my whatnot auction when it's live. And then it's basically like, okay, I'm gonna start it at a dollar, and then when you hit bid, it'll go up a dollar. And it's only on there for like 30 seconds. You can do longer than that, but 30 seconds is super optimal because if it gets down to like the last 10 seconds and somebody bids, it jumps back up to give you 10 more seconds. So there's no like last minute sniping. You can actually choose that on the seller side, but I never do. So it makes it interesting. It just keeps it going, keeps it going until someone finds the right price. You know, even game that this is in terrible condition. Knights of the Round with the stickers and the markings and stuff. You know, but during the live auction, you're seeing me holding the game up here. It's like, this is what the game looks like. So you know the condition of it. It should not sell for any more than it has to. Other games too, like my extra copy of Def Jam Vendetta, Low G-Man DuckTales. The idea with Whatnot is you can sign up to be a seller during your live auction auctions, you put these items up for bidding on. People place their bids, and if they win, congratulations, you just won. And I won a few things as well over the last couple of days. I'm going to uh, showcase them. Quick unboxing, not a lot of games, but a couple of them anyway, just so you can see what it looks like um, if you were to buy something through whatnot, like if you win an auction. Now, of course, there's pros and cons to every app and everything like this. The biggest con for you might be, oh, here's another YouTuber talking about raising the prices of video games. Well, bid responsibly. Definitely look up, I mean, like sometimes like even have the WhatNot app open and then maybe even have eBay open or price charting open. Yeah, you should never bid more than you have to. But sometimes in the auction, you get caught up, you get caught up. It's like, no, just, you, you have to bid responsibly, please. A pro, and I love this idea. It took me a little bit to wrap my brain around it, but what happens from the buyer side and the seller side, um, as a buyer, a bidder, when you sign in, you sign in with your name and address as well as your payment information, PayPal, credit card, whatever. So when you win the winning auction, when you win, it automatically pays. It, the money automatically goes through. You don't even have to touch anything. It's already taken care of. On the seller's side, what happens is then we get that information and we can print off a shipping label. So there's that reliability. That's not the word I'm thinking of, but there's, there's that... Accountability. Accountability, thank you. There's the accountability mostly on the seller's side. So they're not gonna just take your money and then delete the app. Can't do that because if they're not getting paid, they're not gonna ship it, right? So they have to ship it and they have to ship it using their labels because that's what scans it and everything to prove that it was shipped. What a great idea. eBay, I wish Etsy, I wish everything had that feature. So not only do you know, like, you know, hey, once it's shipped, you'll get that tracking information. But then you also know that the person who bought it they're not gonna see a dime. They're not seeing anything from that payment until it's shipped. I'll show you a couple things I got recently uh, just through the WhatNot auctions. And this is the literal box that came in, never mind the eBay tape, you know. But we have, I had to I had to grab, what a great deal I got on both of these. I, I think I paid, I could look it up, hold on. I could say what it was, but let me just literally tell you what it was. I'm gonna open up. You, It's it's a phone app. I mean, you have it on your phone, but you can also go to the uh, whatnot.com and you can, uh, especially for both of these, I really needed both of them. Uh, they both have the manual and everything. I could, I could show you, but it's, you know, it's just, it is, it, you know, especially this one. And $22.75 was what I paid for both of these. Very happy with that. And then, man, this was just super cool. Focus, got the power patch, the Nintendo power patch. I gotta put, I gotta buy a jean jacket just to put this on this. The nice thing was I got both of those from the same seller. What happens is when you buy something and if you buy multiple things, the shipping price only goes up $1 per additional item. So you're saving a ton of money on shipping if you buy multiple stuff from the same auction. I got this one from Video Game Corner, which is kind of nice. A lot of video game stores, like after hours, maybe even during hours, but after hours and stuff, video game shops, video game stores, 
will do whatnot auctions as well, which is kind of nice, because then you can just grab from the inventory. Or sometimes you can say, hey, do you have this game? Or you wouldn't actually yell it out loud, but you type in like, hey, I'm looking for this game. And they might look on the shelf and say, oh yeah, I got it, I got it right here. Let's put that on the auction block here. Oh, that's one way to do it. They even uh, put in a little flyer for their store there. Buy, sell, trade. Well, I got a couple of great games here. Clean copy of Wrath of the Black Manta. Love that one. And I was in desperate need of a label upgrade. My label for Crystallis is super ripped up, but this one's looking great. I got a great deal on this too. And just because, come on. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, I got this for my wife. All right, cool. I also grabbed a CIB copy of Bayou Billy, but I don't see, I, I think I left it at work, but I grabbed that too. So, I mean, so it's kind of fun just to see what you're gonna get. So it's just kind of fun to bid on it, especially if you're looking for a great deal. And not just video game stores, but then also like other YouTube people might have stuff that they have found. Kind of cool to see them, interact with them in real life. At any given time, you can follow some of your favorite people who are doing whatnot auctions, but you do have to kind of shop around a little bit. Now, me personally, I like it when they actually put up the item. It's like, here's the item, here it is, what do you bid on it? There are a couple of auctions that I see sometimes that are like, it's almost like a gamble. Like, like they do mystery boxes. Mystery boxes boxes can be fun. Mystery boxes aren't for me. I don't want to gamble on something. I just want the thing that I'm bidding on, right? So things that are a mystery, I skip them personally, but that's the beautiful thing is you don't need to watch them. You can move on to the next one. Doesn't matter. Of course, I'm there for the retro gaming, but there's a lot more involved with whatnot. I mean, I think it started as a Funko Pops thing, but there's Funko, there's Pokemon cards, comic books, sneakers, toys as well. Absolutely. Action figures. Vintage clothing, that'd be kind of cool. Manga, that's awesome. I mean, Hot Wheels, My Hero Academia is a category on here. <laughs> NFTs, well, I mean, again, to each their own. But I'm there for the retro gaming stuff. If you want to follow me for the retro gaming stuff, I have my link in the description. I do have a referral link, and in full disclosure, if you sign up with my referral link, you'll get 10 extra bucks. $10 for your first winning bid, $10 on me. In doing that, I also get $10 in my account, so that I can use that $10 and then put that back into whatnot to uh, further my collection. So far, I've had a lot of fun with it, but a lot of people have been asking what Whatnot is. So hopefully that answered a couple of your questions. Everything linked in the description. Again, sign up with my referral link. You can follow me on there as well. John Blue Riggs, that's where you'll find me. I've done a couple of them so far. I don't have a set time or anything like that, but if you follow me, you'll, you can get alert and notified when my next auction goes up. And who knows, maybe I'll see you on there. I hope I do. I mean, again, like I said, I've been slimming down my collections the last couple of years, so might, might find something you can't live without for a great deal, you never know. Free to sign up, do so when you can. Thank you so much, we'll see you soon. Bid responsibly.